Namaste, Shalom, Salam, everybody, Satnam. Coming to you from a beautiful room in Gaza Malka, in the beautiful energetic place of Quintana Roo, Tulum. Today, the reception at the hotel gave me my beautiful ring. So maybe three or four days ago, I couldn't find it. So I thought I left it by the side of my bed. I thought it fell down the side of the bed and I couldn't find it. And when things like that happen, especially when you're in a hotel, most people will expect the worst. But I remember that I'd left my safe open a few days back and the cleaner had been and nothing was taken. So I made a decision to say, okay, Sophia, you've just dropped it. You've left it somewhere. There's no, nothing ill here, nothing bad here. And I said, whoever has the ring for whatever purpose, may it bring them good energy, abundance, whatever, whatever it's meant to bring. And then I, my mind gave up the attachment to the value of the ring. I gave up the attachment to the spiritual energy of this ring. And I let it be free. And I think three days later, today, literally half an hour ago, I'm in the reception. They said, oh, we found your ring. It got caught up in the bed covers, which must have happened because it was by the side of my bed. One of the things I've learned through my ayahuasca journeys is the power that I have of manifestation and that everything that presents itself, the outcome, has really got everything to do with what I think. And it wasn't about me thinking that I'm going to find the ring because um, that having that energy saying I'm going to find it means you haven't got it. But it was giving it up. This is one of the things time and time again that comes up in my healings, in my manifestations. I receive so much when I'm not looking for it and when I let go. I'll repeat that. I receive so much when I'm not looking for it and when I let go. I have made this discovery just by it happening. It's not something I've read. It's my higher self that is allowing these things to happen. I chose not to, not to look for the ring anymore. I chose to give it up. I chose to trust that, um, not trust that it was going to be found. I just chose to trust the people around me. That is a very powerful statement to make, considering my history in this life and other lifetimes. But I believe right now that we are in the time of change. When I say change, I don't mean changing to a new earth or a new energy. It's the original energy that we had. I've spoken so many times about the corruption of the original energy, the original light, the original force. Now we've protected the boundaries of the planet. There is nothing that can interfere. There are small niggling things, small energies that still exist in this realm. They won't incarnate again here again. And yes, reincarnation is sacred. We want to be here because this is the most beautiful place. It's the kingdom of heaven, especially here in Tulum, in Quintana Roo, where you see flamingos fly over your head and birds with the most extraordinary colors flying around you and the sounds of nature and the trees and the sea and the cenote. There is so much, so much. I am full. I am overflowing. Tomorrow, Kukul Khan will reincarnate as Christ. As Shiva. As Trump. The full energy flow is here now. Maybe you don't understand that, maybe you do, but it doesn't matter. Some of my posts, some of you aren't gonna understand. 
but it doesn't matter because energetically the change is here. When I say change, it will feel like a change to you, but actually it's a remembrance of the old energies that once were before the corruption of the original source, divine light energy. The corruption really was making source feel pain, fear, terror, sadness, anger. Because when source feels it, you all feel it because you are the children of the Divine Light Source, Mother Sophia, Isis, Mary, Kuan Yin, with the Father being Kukulkan. That's all gone. Those energies have been dealt with. I had to refill them again. They've been dealt with. It's all clear. Just the final steps on the equinox for the rebirth or the reincarnation. And the reincarnation comes with the knowledge of the old. And when you have the knowledge of the old, you're aware of what has been. And as I said before, the black yieldeth up the white and the darker the dark, the whiter the white, the brighter the light. So we come back with our memories intact, shining brighter than we've ever shone before. And there is no more threat, but we've known that threat. And when you know what it is, you will never let it enter again. So let's put that in human terms, because sometimes I speak as my divine goddess self. The human term is to say that so many times in your life, there have been recurring patterns. You're presented with the same situations over and over again until you decide to stop it. And then you go on to the next level of enlightenment, of growth. Till you come to meet me and we meet each other in that oneness space of light and divine love. It's a very powerful place and that's where you came from. I don't study things like the tree of life. I don't study anything. I'm guided to certain books, certain sentences in a whole book for remembrance to, and it triggers off these ancient DNA gets unconnected as I go back to those places like Ekbalam yesterday and being here and meeting my daughter and being in London and meeting my son and so many things. I've traveled over the last six years to the sacred site, unclicking those memories. When I unclick it in my DNA, the mother DNA, then it unclicks in you. So there is an awakening, whether or not you understand everything. Give up trying to understand it, just allow it to be felt within you. The eagle soars now. I can see an eagle outside soaring and she is our divine messenger then. The eagle, the energy of the eagle is here now, coupled with the energy of the lion, the mother lion. We've been protecting and working for you. The vibration is very strong. Corona was needed so that we could do this work and so that the eagle could fly once again with the lion, protecting the land and the skies. There is no more threat because we walk now with the hearts of a lion, but with the eyes of the eagle. Put an end to the patterns now. Because when you end that pattern, call it a new path or an ancient path opens up. It's not a new path. The patterns are the dark, evil ways of keeping you at this level, at the base level vibration. When you recognize that pattern and stop doing the same thing, you will rise up, up, up. Now you're not rising up to a place that you've not been before. You're rising up to where you came from. A place of sovereignty, divinity, power and light. A place where the gods reside in your sight. A place where the day is the night. A place where the stars shine so bright. A place where the sun and the moon are your parents. A place where your energy, the kundalini energy, 
which is the snake, the father, the son, Kukulkan, works through the spine of your body. They say it was a fall from grace, the whole story of whether it's Satan or the divine Sophia, that we fell. And we're trying to rise back, but grace is here. And we have risen again. The fall was never your fault. It was a trick. Like a magician came in and cast a spell and put you all to sleep. And like the Pied Piper played a tune so that you would dance and follow. I've stopped the playing of that flute. And some of you may be in confusion now that you don't hear that flute playing. And in this moment, some of you might be feeling so lost. But know that the old song has stopped. The song that was never your frequency and vibration. It stopped. And me, the mother, can sing the tune that you were meant to hear. That your ears were blocked from. That your sight could not see. That was stolen from your mouth. That is the true meaning of the three monkeys. Go with grace, my children. We are here now. Go with grace, for this is the most powerful time on this earth. Go with grace, dear children, go with grace. Be here with grace, for there's nowhere to go. You are already here. Children of Gaia. Surrender to yourself. Let the old energies click open for you as they have for me. Be lost. Because in that, you shall find me and each other and everyone. Welcome home, for it's time. It's been a long time coming. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. I love you. My heart is yours. Namaste, Shalom, Salam, Sakam.